Hello everyone and welcome back to Yankee Devil where of course every day is a train show. My name is DJ and today we're going to be taking a look at some items that hopefully will once again find their way on your train layout. You know we get a lot of questions here over at the show and so I figured I would answer them in my question box here. So here's our first question. <clears throat> Why are you so ugly? Um, uh, uh, what's your favorite engine? Well, my personal favorite engine has to be that nickel plate road number 765. I think that's an awesome locomotive. Engineer Hall, what's your favorite engine? Oh, the ES44AC. Oh, it's so funny you mentioned that because we have the ES44AC Jivo in the starter sets from Kato or Kato, depending on how you say it. These are awesome looking sets if you're looking to get started in the hobby, especially if you want to be an end scaler. And it's a, this is an awesome looking set. If you come in here, look uh, closer, you can see the different diesel locomotives that you have here. This is the Union Pacific set, of course, here. I have here a Burlington Northern Santa Fe set, and it comes with six freight cars here. So they actually call this the mixed freight starter set. In here, you get the Unitrack, which a lot of end scalers love here, and you get a three by four foot oval track you get the transformer and the neat thing about the set is you can get more unit track and we have a whole bunch of it here at yankee dabbler that you can add on to it now i have three different versions of the set i have the uh union pacific the bnsf and i have the canadian pacific so these are, i'm sorry the canadian national so these are just great looking sets for you to get especially if we're looking to get into the hobby now these are dc sets but if you want to upgrade them to dcc you can they are upgradable so it's just an awesome look at set and especially if you want to get started into the hobby it's a great way to go now these sets retail for 285 but we're selling them here at yankee dabbler for 228 Get six cars, a diesel, oval, a track, and transformer. Can't beat that. You get a high-quality item there that I know is going to make you the envy of all your friends. So come to Yankee Dabbler, get these sets. Time for us to answer another question in the question box here. All right, this is a little bit of a long one. If I want to install a 3-volt LED in an Atherin Blue Box GP38-2, and I want DCC and sound and a keep alive, how many ohms do I need in order to run a 23.5 foot by 17? Uh, seven. All right. But in the meantime, here we got some more N scale diesel locomotives for you to check out here. And I think you're going to like these again from Kato or Kato, depending on how you say it here. And these are those SD70 ACEs heritage engines that the Union Pacific had here. Now I have three of them here, and they are in great looking paint schemes here. We have seen these engines before here on the show, and now it's finally get to see them in N scale. Now these are DC locomotives here, okay? So once again, you would have to add a decoder if you want to make those DCC uh, operable. These are the decoders that you would actually use in order to get those engines DCC. So for Digitrax here, I got the DM163K1C, and for TCS, I have the 1318 now these decoders will get those engines running dcc not sound but it will be able to get it running on dcc now the digitrack ones sell for 32 dollars, and the tcs is around 48 all right so if you want to get those diesel engines a dcc ready to go that is a great way for you to go now those engines also retail for and let me find it here correctly for you they are uh, selling for $138, but we're selling them for $109.99. That's a great deal to get on these engines. And really, these are just works of art there. Those uh, Union Pacific Heritage engines were great when they came out. They really started the whole heritage unit thing. And I just love the way that some of these engines look. Great detail. Cato does a fantastic job making these engines look great. I love all the warning labels here, especially in the N-scale engine. That's just fantastic to see there. So I think you need one, two, or all all three of them pulling engines uh pulling trains rather on your railroad so come to yankee dabbler get them running today all right so time for another question because these are going so well <clears throat> why aren't you buying engineer hall more engines engineer hall is this your question yeah i need more power for my layout <sighs> okay well anywho we got more end scale items for you to check out. You got those uh, diesel locomotives. You need something to pull? Well, check out these items here from Micro Trains here. And I got this Chicago and Northwestern two pack. And I love these gondolas. They are oh, just greatly detailed there, especially with all the weathering there. Love the Chicago and Northwestern logo there. And then a car that I particularly like this is the Rock car that's been taken over. And I definitely just love the detail in that car. That looks fantastic there. Then I got a two pack of Fruit Growers Express, and these are just great. I mean, talk about weather. These cars are tired. They look great. Microtrains does a fantastic job with the weathering department, and I know you're gonna really like that set here. 
Now I got a car that is a 40 foot box car here. This obviously is not what it here, but this is the MTL. That is a great looking car there, especially. I mean, we all need more box cars. And then finally, I got two 60 foot box cars here, and both of them are weathered like you wouldn't believe here these look like they are tired cars here i got the union pacific and i got the penn central and both of those cars just look fantastic especially i mean this look at the roof looks like it's all rusted these cars have definitely had a long life on the railroad now the price for the uh the fruit growers express is 51.96 this is our prices the gondola set was 47.96 the uh micro the uh 40 foot box car is 2156 and the 60 foots are 2399 those are great deals to get on those cars especially highly detailed cars there and if you're an n-scaler and you want to go for detail yeah get those on your railroad today now we all love trains but of course you can't just have a layout filled with trains you need to populate it with some little figurines and of course where are those figurines going to drive to unless they have some automobiles so from mini metals here i got some really neat looking 1976 chevy pickup trucks here and he says look really cool here let's get it without the glare there i got three different colors here i got the black i got the blue and i got the orange here and these are awesome looking trucks here especially if you're looking for just a really nice little detailed truck to put on the side of your railroad there maybe waiting at a crossing these are awesome to go with and i love populating my railroad with as many little things as i can there whether it's an automobile or a little scene there you can do so much more uh, with these cars here and they're really nicely detailed now these trucks are selling here for 18 dollars 49 really highly detailed car to get on your layout so come in get these on your layout and make it more than just about the trains time for another fan question here <clears throat> all right let's check out this one here can you recommend some stocks in the market to buy? We're at Model Train Show. What do I have? I don't know. Uh, invest in coal. Hey, like these hopper cars that we have here from Atherin. This is part of their roundhouse division here. And I love these uh, hopper backs. These are the 30 foot foot. 34 foot two bay offset hopper cars here and as you can see here this is the atsf the santa fe's and these are just awesome looking car sets here but i have a couple of other different versions to take a look at here as well as you can see over here i have the bno and, and i love that chassis look there i love the cat we have another santa fe this one does not have the logo here but it does have some nice text then i got this great set here the cni and, and i particularly love the red white and blue card there celebrating the bicentennial that is a great looking car there i had the great northern one of my favorite logos here and then finally the p and wv now if you're looking for an affordable hopper set to go with to get on your layout this is the perfect way to go because these cars retail for 124.99 but we're selling them here for 99.99 that's 100 bucks so if you get four cars divided by four um 100 divided by four that's this many right did i get it right yeah close enough all right so it's probably 25 dollars a car but this is just an awesome set i love this set here that this glides around the track fantastically these are those awesome looking cars here you can never have enough hoppers i love the two bay hoppers so coming to yankee dabbler we got a bunch of different ones here and of course the price is really good so you get a couple of these get a nice long hopper train pulling on your railroad today Time for another fan question here. <clears throat> does Christian have any new drawings? Well, as a matter of fact, he does here. This is his newest edition here that's going to be in his art show coming up. Uh, he titles this one The Happy Picnic. Um, I think he might be working out some things there. I don't know, a little anger issue. But, hey, he's retailing this for around $2,000. So, if you're interested, go on Yankee Dabbler and uh, you know support local art. I always think that's important. But if you need another locomotive to run on your roster here, we have this HL locomotive here that I think you're going to really like. Once again, this is from the Roundhouse Division here from Atherin, but this is a GP38 Rail America diesel. And I love the red, white, and blue colors here that we have on this locomotive here. Now, this is another DC locomotive. So if you want to get this up and running with DCC, we have a couple of decoders here for you, all right? So this is from ESU. This is number 58429. And then this is from um, Soundtracks here. This is the 885809. Now, both of these are actually sound decoders here. So if you want to have that engine have sound, you would need a speaker to make that engine um, 
you know have some sound but these are sound decoders here to get in this diesel locomotive now this engine retails for a one 39.98, but we're selling here a Yankee Dabbler for $111.99. So this is roughly a little, just a little bit over $100 share, but it's a great looking engine, okay? And if you're looking for a diesel locomotive to pull your trains, maybe even that uh, bicentennial hopper set that I just showed you there, that would look fantastic pulling here, okay? So coming to Yankee Dabbler, get this engine work running on your rails today. Uh, I just want to mention that the decoders, both of them roughly sell for around $88, all right? So little bit under $200 to get a nice DCC operable engine on your rails today. And yeah, as we all say, we need more diesels. More power. All right, so another question, because these have been going so well. Uh, I have bought so many boxcars, <laughs> I think we could all relate, that I cannot get out of my house. I tried moving, but I am stuck. I can't even move any part of my body to leave. Please send help because I can't eat the cardboard boxes anymore to nourish me. And I really have to go to the bathroom. Please send help. You're my own. Oh, boy. Oh, gosh. Uh, he needs help. Yeah. Uh, well, good luck to you, sir. Um, I don't know what we can do about it. But I can tell you about a locomotive that you can use to pull those boxes. Uh, box cars, rather. And we have these from Broadway Limited gg1s now these aren't new locomotives these are old stock that we have here but i just love the gg1s these are the last two that we have here in stock but i have two fantastic paint schemes here i had the brunswick green with the single stripe and then i have my personal favorite the tuscan red with the five stripes now these have paragon 3 sound here but the neat thing about these locomotives is they're incredibly highly detailed and these are actually metal bodies that we have here on these locomotives here so it's just a great look here. I mean, the GG1 is just such an iconic locomotive, and especially if you are a Pennsylvania Railroad fan, you definitely need one or maybe both of these locomotives on your roster. Now, these locomotives retail for $3.99, but we're selling them here at Yankee Dabbler for $3.19.99. I love the GG1 here. It's just such a great looking locomotive here. And especially if you've ever seen one of these in person before, whether it was uh, operable or whether it's in a museum, and there are quite a few of them still out there today, they're just spectacular to look at. Yeah, just the sheer size of them and the length of time that these engines operated really makes them an icon of the rails. So just like we like to do on this show, because I like to play with toys, we're going to hear what it sounds like all aboard now before we pull it out here i have all the different types of instructions that uh broadway limited puts on these locomotives here as you can see there are a whole bunch of different features actually there are 28 different functions that happen here so actually uh, 29 if you count to zero so let's uh take a look at some of them shall we all right so here is the idle sound okay here is the bell here is the horn This one's called Ramp Traction Motors Up. And this is Ramping It Down. Here are the pentagram sounds. Alright, let's check out Cooling Fans. How about air fill and air release? Alright, let's have a uh, the grade horn. How about some passenger announcements? Let's have some radio chatter. I mean, there's just so many neat things that these engines do. Alright, so let's pull it out, shall we? All right. 
Now, this does not have operable pantographs, so you have to use what I call the hand of God. But, if I wanted to switch directions, that's all I have to do. It's a fantastic looking engine. I think, you know what? Let's pull that Brunswick Green with a bunch of those hopper cars because they did pull both freight and passenger service. We'll see what it looks like in action. Now arriving on track number one, train number 4821. Everybody needs a GG1. So that's a great looking engine, and once again, if you're a fan of Pennsylvania Railroad or this railroad history in general, you need a GG1 on your layout. So three to uh, 1999, I only have two. So it's either the Brunswick Green or the uh, Tuscan Red. Personally, I would just buy both. So come to Yankee Dabbler and get that engine rolling today. All right, so it's time for our final viewer question. <clears throat> Here, if I can just pull it up. What is the status of the Yankee Dabbler movie? Okay, look, this thing has had problems from day one. First of all, Steven Spielberg just walked off the set when he found out what we were doing. So then we had to hire Michael Bay, but he just started blowing up everything, so that didn't work. So then we had Steven Seagal demand more money. So with the $50 that we raised, he had requested an additional $300 million. So we said no. So we, we threw a dart to try to get Denzel, but uh, then his lawyers got the restraining order. So it's just been a nightmare. So we'll let you know if anything changes with that movie for sure. Thanks, guys. We're stuck in the boxcar room for weeks. Boxcars. Oh boy. Oh well. Well, anyway, I want to thank you very much for tuning into our show here today. Hopefully, some of these items were uh, something that struck your interest, and we'll find a way and go lay out here. Let's do a little recap here. Of course, we had these GG ones here, which I just absolutely love here. For our end scalers, we had those SD70 ACEs, the uh, Union Pacific Heritage engines. We had a couple of two packs here from Micro Chains, as well as a couple of additional boxcars here. Uh, hey, did you hear that, Christian? Boxcars. Ooh, boxcar. Yeah, we got a GP38 that you can upgrade with sound with DCC. And, of course, I had these uh, four-pack of the two-bay covered um, offset rather hoppers so a bunch of great things here but of course if you're looking for new stuff here that you didn't see well make sure you stay tuned here for uh, what's new at Yankee Devil because we are always getting new items coming in daily so hopefully we'll see something in the next show or some of the previous ones if you're not already subscribed to Engineer Hall's channel make sure you click that subscribe button and get caught up on all the latest things that are happening here it's actually kind of interesting he just traded his kid for a whole bunch of uh, cabooses so I'm interested to see the review video on that. How's your wife feel about that one? No comment. Okay. Well, anyway, make sure you just hit, click that subscribe button. It's very easy. All right. So <laughs> thank you very much for tuning in. We're going to conclude with a rail fan video. We're going to go to the Northeast Corridor to see the Amtrak Acela go down the tracks. So until next time, take care. And if you excuse me, I'm going to take uh, Christian's artwork and we're going to put this in the Philadelphia Museum of Art. We're replacing some of those old dingy ones. So I think this is going to be a good thing. So, uh, you know, hey, Chris, Chris, boxcar, you have enough. I, I got to take care of this. Boxcar, no, no, please, no. Oh.